that old time religion. Item number, SCP-3089. Object class, Keter. Special containment procedures. A Foundation operated bot, IO Silver, is to monitor online communities for markers associated with SCP-3089. Should a community infected with SCP-3089 be identified, a joint operation involving MTF Mu-4, Debuggers, MTF Nu-13, Rashax Roughnecks, and MTF Gamma-5, Red Herring, is to be conducted to contain all members of this community and remove all evidence of its existence from the public record. Prior to shedding their epidermis, SCP-3089-A instances are confined to standard human containment cells. Instances in Stage 2 are to be remotely monitored by Foundation medical staff on a 48-hour cycle to monitor their progression. Stage 3 instances are to be transferred to HTH containment cells. Footnote: HTH, or High Threat Humanoid, containment cells are enclosures engineered to handle various types of anomalous humanoids. Description SCP-3089 is a phenomenon that emerges among communities focused on developing methods to acquire physical, financial, and social prosperity. Although its precise pathology is not yet understood, affected communities are identified by several markers, the most prominent of which is a fixation on achieving material success via the application of rituals associated with the Setlaidi, or Singers a druidic cult active in Ireland between the 15th and 19th centuries. SCP-3089-A instances are members of an affected community afflicted with SCP-3089-B, a form of chimerism incorporating exogenous genetic material from the Cicadetta Montana or New Forest Cicada. SCP-3089-B emerges in accordance to the following progression. Stage 1. Chrysalis The instance enters a state of severely depressed metabolism, brain activity, heart rate, and body temperature. Over a period of 3-6 to six hours, the instance's epidermis hardens into a dense, brittle shell. Stage 2. Metamorphosis Numerous small internal teratomas manifest within the instance. Over a period of 2-3 to three weeks, these tumors expand and dissolve surrounding soft tissue, replacing all functionality. Stage 3 Emergence Once the majority of soft tissue has been replaced, the instance exits its dormant state, exuviates its outer epidermal shell, and emerges. It is now non-communicative and will attempt to burrow into any soil via any means at its disposal. At Stage 3, numerous organs, including eyes, lungs, and internal genitalia, are now vestigial. Examination of the brain shows severe deviations from topographical norms. SCP-3089 was first discovered by the Foundation in 1961, following the disappearance of an entire town's population in North Carolina. This town has since been demolished and the region surrounding it purchased for observation. Addendum 3089.1 Ministry of the Sevenfold Blessing The following audio was recovered from magnetic cassettes found in the offices of the Ministry of the Sevenfold Blessing, located in Darrington, North Carolina, USA. They consist of recorded sermons given by Pastor Bartholomew Jenner. Each was labeled with the name of the sermon and the date on which it was given. SCP-3089 Audio Sermon 106 Log Audio Excerpt Date 1959, August 17th Subject God has cleared a path My friends, my friends, I want to talk to you about the Bible offers tonight. I want to talk to you about what you are owed. I want to talk to you about, I want to talk to those of you who are struggling right now, to those of you who have hardship and pain. Maybe you've heard that the Bible only nourishes the spirit, 
that God only provides for our mortal souls. Well, my friends, I'm here to tell you that this is simply not true. You are a child of the Most High God, the King of Kings. He has breathed his very life into you. His royal blood flows through your veins. He did not create you to just get by. You are his child. You are his champion. He put you here to rise, to rise up and achieve total victory. Many of you can think of places in your lives where you have not yet risen, where you are not yet victorious. Marriage, finances, health. But do not fret, my friends. God wants you to rise. He has cleared the path for you. It is one littered with his earthly treasures. To claim them, you need only shed your old selves and be reborn. Now, if you would, some of the ladies from the... Thank you, ladies. Some of the ladies from the mayor's office were kind enough to collect these cicada shells. Pass them along. Each one of you take one. Yes, the children too. Be careful. Very careful. They are fragile. Each of you take one and hold it in your left hand. Yes, the left hand, not the right. Your left. Good. I want you all to close your eyes. Please, everyone, close your eyes. I want you to visualize... I want you to imagine whatever hardship in your life you're struggling with right now. Picture it. What is it? Your job? Your car? Your marriage? Is someone in your household sick? Picture it in your left hand. Picture yourself holding that problem. Now, I want you to squeeze your left hand. Squeeze it into a fist. Feel that problem cracking like old dried out paper. Feel it crumble to dust. Everyone, open your eyes. Don't you feel better? Stronger? This is what is offered. Our hardships are like a shell. We shall cast them aside even as they crumble. God has cleared a path. Amen. Amen. SCP-3089 Audio Sermon 109 Log Audio Excerpt Date 1959 December 19th Subject The Unprofitable Servant Psalm Chapter 24 Verse 1 the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Job chapter 41 verse 11. Who hath prevented me that I should repay him? Whatsoever is under the whole heaven is mine. Both heaven and earth are God's possessions. We are but tenants upon his property. Just as the angels are God's heavenly servants, so are we his earthly ones. In chapter 25 of Matthew, verse 30, the parable of the talents, God speaks, And cast ye the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of the teeth. What does this tell us? That the Lord casts aside those wicked servants who are content with mediocrity, those who do not seek to enrich their master's possessions, those who do not seek total victory. We are God's investment. It falls upon us to be the profitable one. He gave his only begotten son, surrendered him to the earth, so that he might rise from it and grant us life everlasting. We must demonstrate the wisdom and glory of this sacrifice, this investment. Now, some of you have expressed concerns over the new sacraments. A few I will not say who, but a few. They even called them sacrilege. And yet, have we not prospered? Have these same naysayers, again, I will not speak their names, but have these same doubting Thomas 
forces, now profited from our good works. I have shown you how to heal the sick with the Lord's Prayer and the blood of an unbaptized child. I have shown you how to see your future in the steaming entrails of a quivering crow. I have shown you the path to glory. But I cannot make you follow this path. I can only show it to you. It is you and you alone who must follow it. Who must rise and shed your old self. SCP-3089 Audio, Sermon 179 Log Audio Excerpt Date, 1960, June 7th Subject, He is Risen Matthew chapter 28 verse 6 He is not here for he is risen as he said Come, see the place where the Lord lay Unintelligible not a metaphor, my friends. Step forward. Yes, mothers behind their daughters, fathers behind their sons. Turn to face the... Unintelligible. Close your eyes, children. Close your eyes and pray. I want you to imagine God, His power, His majesty, His... Unintelligible. Victory. Total victory. For did he not offer up his only begotten son? With your left hands you must... Unintelligible. Lamb is slaughtered to feed the lion. The son is slaughtered to feed... Unintelligible. Act is complete. This world shall be our paradise. This world shall... Unintelligible. To us, God has bequeathed all of his earthly treasures, but... Unintelligible. Must dig deep. Unintelligible. The sign. Wait. And... Note. The remainder of the recording, approximately 30 minutes, consists of static-like hissing, chittering, and otherwise unintelligible sounds. Addendum 3089.2 Additional Materials SCP-3089 Audio Kai Log Audio Excerpts Date 2007, February 1st Note The following are excerpts from the audio of an hour-long YouTube video, Seven Secrets to Ascend the Ladder of Prosperity, posted to the Kai Sanchez Positively Rich channel. The community surrounding this channel was determined to be affected by SCP-3089, and has since been contained. 255 Five years ago I was living on food stamps, sleeping in my car. Now I'm giving lectures in front of my Porsche inside my six-car garage attached to my $2.3 million home. You want to know how I do it? All I had to do was climb the ladder. All I had to do was think positively. 850. Ladders exist so you can climb them. That's what ladders are for, people. The universe is telling you it wants you to prosper. You just have to visualize success. And success will come. That's the power of positive thinking. 1209. If you're not going for the top of that ladder, then this video isn't for you. Bye. Sorry to have wasted your time. Successful people don't deal with losers. Only keep watching if you want to achieve complete mastery over your life. 1822 Recent developments in quantum physics have demonstrated the impact of human consciousness on our universe. Think about that. Just think about it. What does that mean? You think it and it comes true. You don't like your bank account? Imagine a bigger one. You don't like the way you look? Imagine a new you. 2107. Which brings us to secret number three. Visualize your ascendance. Reimagine yourself as someone who can reach the top of that ladder. Shed your old identity. Tear it off and throw it aside like dead skin. You won't need it. 
Not where you're going. 3244. Secret number five. Leave scraps out for stray cats. It'll take a while to get them inside. It might be a few months before one even approaches your front door. But you can't set out traps. They have to come into your house of their own volition. Once you've got one, remember to hold the knife with your left hand. 4944. Remember how we explained that successful people don't actually need any of their toes to walk? Well, that's gonna come in handy for secret number six. You'll wanna start with your left foot first. Find a large isolated room, lay down some plastic sheets. 5512. Now that you're just one rung away from achieving your prosperity, it's time for secret number seven. Forward this video to at least seven more people. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Note, despite an extensive search, Kai Sanchez has yet to be found. Following incident number 409, see below. He has been designated POI 3089-127. SCP-3089 Audio, PUA Log. Audio Log. Date, 2015, May 19th. Note, audio recovered from an MP3 player by MTF Pi 8, Play Ahatas. During containment of an online, seduction community that used anomalies to acquire sexual access to women. The community was later determined to be affected by SCP-3089. Begin log. One of the things that a lot of us don't seem to get, not even veterans, is that women are wired to want to sleep with you. This isn't some sort of Dumbo's magic feather confidence trick either. I'm just talking neurology. I'm just talking science. It's just how we're wired. Right, I, I mean, yeah, a lot of people don't, but when you approach a woman and you're open to, it's like she unconsciously picks up on it. Sleep with her? Yeah, right, yeah. Similar to Van Eck Franken, which means you can block it. That's a mystery stick with his heads. He lines them with steel mesh. <laughs> you think I'm joking. But yeah, an alternative approach is to retrain your brain. No, you're sleeping with her. Because if you're open, that means you're selling. <laughs> right. And women are looking to buy, they're looking to be bought. <laughs> Jesus, that sounds bad. I know, right? But yeah, it's just science. Another thing you've mentioned before is how you should never aim low. You should always... Oh, right. You should always aim for the 10. Right. A lot of us walk into a room, see a 10 to a basic probability matrix, and tell ourselves... Okay, I've got no chance. I'll focus on the 7 or 8 LSE in the corner. And that's just bullshit. Aim for the 10. You always aim for the 10. Because if you don't... If you're not trying to be the best you that you could possibly be. Right. Exactly. Always go for the 10. Never sell yourself short. I mean, we're all products of our evolution. A 4 billion year old iterative process dedicated to perfecting our ability to pass on our genes. We weren't put here to go for 7s and 8s, you know? We're not here to win second place. Go platinum or go extinct. Be a champion or get out of the champion's way. You're not gonna play hard, then you might as well just remove yourself from the gene pool. <laughs> okay there, Richard Dawkins. So I have to ask about the bug rattler, right? Yeah, how'd you guess? A lot of people have been asking me about it. Here, I've got one on me. Ah, uh, wow. So what? Static. Jesus, that's loud! Yeah, it's the preserved remains of a cicadetta montana, which is just a fancy word for those really big loud bugs that burrow and leave their shells everywhere. See those structures on the side? Those are timbles. The male cicada uses them to attract mates. <laughs> well, I do too. This seriously works? Yeah, this is actually... I actually came across this when I was doing research for my next book. Necking your immune system how to use pickup techniques to win a life. <laughs> That's one hell of a title. 
Hey, what though? A publicist came up with it. He's fucking amazing. Anyway, yeah, the book's all about applying seduction techniques more broadly throughout your life. It's crazy how this stuff can apply everywhere. You can use the same tricks in finances, health, even to develop yourself spiritually. <laughs> You're not gonna try and pick up God on you. <laughs> I mean, if you were a trick, I probably would. So, this bug rattler. You figured this trick out from your studies? Yeah. Here, you can keep it. I've got a couple. Uh, just, uh... Oh, cool. Uh, don't... Don't use around the same chick too many times, you know? If you do, sometimes they'll end up... <laughs> sometimes they'll start chittering and hissing. Shit like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's... That's pretty, uh... It's kind of gross, yeah. But just be responsible with it, you know? Right. I will. Thanks. End log. Note. Attempts to identify voice one are ongoing. Following incident number 409, see below. This person has been tentatively designated POI 3089-189. SCP-3089 Incidents 409 Log. Incident Report Incident Number 3089-409 Date of Occurrence 2017, November 1st A Foundation Agent, Daniel Mitchell, performing a routine monthly patrol within the vicinity of Darrington, North Carolina, noted the appearance of several sinkholes along the outskirts of the region. Further investigation uncovered an extensive network of tunnels extending several hundred kilometers outward before reaching the surface. A geological survey has determined that many of these tunnels are approximately four decades old. Although a complete exploration of this space has yet to be conducted, preliminary searches have uncovered approximately 1.1 tons of semi-preserved organic animal material. This material is composed of severely desiccated dermis, footnote, the dense layer of skin beneath the epidermis. Tissue. Genetic testing reveals the presence of both human and Cicadetta montana, or New Forest Cicada, DNA. As of this date, all previous inhabitants of Darrington have been tentatively designated as POI 3089-1 through-985. An investigation into their current whereabouts is ongoing. <laughs>